welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and tonight's episode is episode 106, and it's being brought to you by the good people over at Combat Flip Flops. They are a veteran-owned apparel company with a mission to create peaceful, forward-thinking opportunities for self-determined entrepreneurs affected by conflict. It's a lot of uh, words to simply say they help get the money to good things to help good people, such as helping educate Afghan women and girls, and removing unexploded landmines and other ordnance in Laos, and also helping out the families and the members of the special operations community. Good stuff from good people. They recently had a sale up in their store. Hopefully you saw the coupon code over on Facebook and Instagram. I definitely took advantage of that, getting myself a couple t-shirts for myself and my wife and a pair of AK-47 flip-flops for my wife. So I'm very, very looking forward to when that order comes in because Combat Flip-Flops is helping flip the view on how wars are won. Business, not bullets. And now, a tale of honor. Charles was born on the 28th of May, 1921, in Boston, Massachusetts, and enlisted in the Massachusetts Army National Guard, but was activated in 1941 to deploy to Europe during World War II. In November of 1943, Charles was captured in Italy and remained a prisoner of war until the end of the war. He then deployed to Korea with the 2nd Reconnaissance Company, 2nd Infantry Division, and it was his actions on the 1st of September, 1950, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Sergeant First Class Turner distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action against the enemy. A large enemy force launched a mortar and automatic weapons supported assault against his platoon. Sergeant First Class Turner, a section leader, quickly organized his unit for defense and then observed that the attack was directed at the tank section 100 yards away. Leaving his secured section, he dashed through a hail of fire to the threatened position and, mounting a tank, manned the exposed turret machine gun. Disregarding the intense enemy fire, he calmly held his position, delivering deadly accurate fire and pointing out targets for the tank's 75mm gun. His action resulted in the destruction of seven enemy machine gun nests. Although severely wounded, he remained at the gun, shouting encouragement to his comrades. During the action, the tank received over 50 direct hits, the periscopes and antenna were shot away, and three rounds hit the machine gun mount. Despite this fire, he remained at his post until a burst of enemy fire cost him his life. This intrepid and heroic performance enabled the platoon to withdraw and later launch an attack which routed the enemy. Sergeant First Class Turner's valor and example reflect the highest credit upon himself and are in keeping with the esteemed traditions of the U.S. Army. Charles William Turner is buried in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 12, Lot 7762. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. If you like this podcast, which I know you do, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. And be sure to subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll automatically get updates when this uh, when a new episode is up. It's pretty simple. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.